Uh oh, uh oh. I just got you one. Got munched? I got one. Oh boy. I got him. Oh, I got him. <laughs> oh. I don't know how big he is, but he is tugging. No freaking way. <laughs> oh, baby. That was sick. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day. We're back with another video. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. Got my boy Fletcher in the background right there, and we're filming a freaking bang. Don't be doing some weird crap. Don't be doing. The last time I was with Fletcher, he tried to do some some stinky stuff with me. What, what are you doing over there, boy? boy I'm watching you. you. Last time he put a net over my head, so I, I don't know what he's gonna do with a shovel. Whack you across the head and bury you back. <laughs> but today we're gonna be doing some live bait fishing. It's been a while since I've filmed a live bait video, so I'm very pumped about it, very excited. This is like, when I was younger, me and my granddad, this is all we used to do is fish with live bait, and that's kind of how I grew up fishing and bass fishing as a whole, so. I'm excited about it, Fletcher's excited about it. We're gonna have an awesome day today. But the first thing we're gonna do, this is gonna be like a live bait train challenge. We did one before, it actually hit over a million views. You guys enjoyed it. So it's like, we gotta come back with a part two and do it even better this time. So we're in the woods right now. Got old Fletcher right there. And uh, show them what we're doing. I'll let you kinda. All right, well, we're gonna be taking a good old shovel and we're gonna be digging some holes today. And we're gonna be looking for some worms, as you can see, it has rained quite a bit recently. The ground is super wet, which should mean all these worms are gonna be up close to the surface. So we're just gonna start digging and we're just gonna be looking for as many big juicy worms as we can find to hopefully catch some nice bluegill with, some other little panfish, and throw those suckers on a giant hook in hopes of catching some monster bass above some suspended structure today. If we do everything correct today, we're gonna catch some monsters. And there no we way, go. that quick. A big old juicy one. That's a that's a solid one. So we have the live well too. We'll show you guys that in a little bit. It's kind of going through the process. So, so we're just gonna th worm. throw him that in there. That was quick. We actually tried to film this a while ago and it just was not working. But with it being so moist outside right now, I think we're gonna find these worms fairly yeah, I quick. I think we're gonna find them quick. But we definitely want to throw just a, a little bit of dirt in here for this dude, um, just so he doesn't dry out if the sun ends up coming out. Um, we want him to be able to bury down in that dirt. Let's go. Let's look somewhere else, somewhere a little more moist. Maybe somewhere over here with these logs, you might be able to lift some up. You might find some grubs. I mean, there's no telling what you might find. Yeah, we could find something other than some night crawlers. Try some of these that are like down in the hole a little bit. Um, oh, <laughs> a million ants. Yeah. Oh, uh, um, literally a million. I'm gonna pass um, on that one. Yeah, I don't know about that one. That's a, that's a hard skirt. Well, we got one more worm right there. <laughs> we only got two total, but I think we have a little plan just in case we don't have enough worms. We're actually gonna head to a pond now. Now we're gonna go catch some live bluegill to fish for the bass. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna hop in the golf cart, get out there, see how many live bait, blue, live bait bluegill. That makes a lot of sense. Live bluegill we can catch. And get in, and get in. What am I saying? <laughs> and get on to catching some big bass. Alrighty, just made it out to the spot where we're gonna try to catch some bluegill. We got this big dock right here, hoping there's some around it. We were gonna go to a couple different spots, but there's a lot of noise. So, I'm just going over to this one. We got this little tiny hook right here for these little bluegill. We both got a little spinning combo rigged up. This one actually is tied to straight braid. <laughs> um, where are those split <laughs> shots? Fine. Yeah, uh, we will need a split shot for that. Because right that braid will float, so that is the one thing. Put us a split shot or two on there. I think we'll be good. Put a little bit upper line. Put it about right there and we should be good. I think just one of them would be fine. Just that braid floats, that's the only thing. Keep it very basic with this brim fishing. All right, the worms. Oh. Little slippery boy, where'd you go? Ha ha ha, gotcha. That's a juicy little worm too. We're gonna have to use some small pieces. I'm sorry, bud, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry, bud, but we gotta do it. This is the food chain challenge, baby. It's a little tiny piece. I'm talking really small. Split shot is on, little tiny hook, little tiny piece of worm. That's all we need. Now let's see if there's some bluegill out over here that we can cop up real quick. Hopefully we'll just drop in and 
find the little mother load. I'm kind of wanting to get a mixture of small bluegill and some big ones at the same time. I'm a big fan of fishing with just some big giant live bait. Um, I like using the big bluegill that usually gets those big girls. Yeah. Yeah, we do gotta fill up the cooler. Should we do that first? Yeah, we should probably do that. Make sure we give these guys some nice pond water, that stuff that they come right out of, so they have a nice place to live. Perfect. Before we put them on the hook. Definitely wanna put the pond water over like hose water. They just have all the, the little things that they need in this to survive. Show them the little setup that we got too. Oh yeah, we got with. the essential. If you're gonna use a cooler for a little live bait well, we're gonna put these guys in here. Got the little aerators. And this little... is just a basic bubble box. It's actually the bigger one than I've used before. It's called the power bubble. It's hooked it right up to his battery. We're good to go. Got the two little bubblers in there, two little aerators. And that should be good for our live bait. Um, I don't know how many we're gonna get, but we're gonna go ahead and start catching them. Load them up in here. This, our B, this will be our little tiny live well for today. All right, here we go, Fletch. Can you get one first drop? I do not know. I guess we're gonna see. Oh, what if we did the, uh, <laughs> the full drop 5,000? <laughs> you just spiked my creativity right here. Fish are so smart. Uh oh. Okay. Got him. Oh. Size. I want to go for some bigger ones today, but. That's bass candy right that's, there. That's bass candy. I mean, we're going to throw it in there and they're just going to freaking munch that. Look at that. Still still saved our worm. It's a good little sign. First little bait fish for today. He ain't big, but like I said, we're going to load up on some bait. The last thing we want to do is get out there and run out of bait and us be like, yeah. We're going to have to go back and get some more, so. Got our last little one. He's over here barking at me. I don't know if you guys can see that. See him barking? Look at him. Look at him roughing right there. Yeah. That is literally bass candy. I know that. See, you know, you know how you have, you know, you got your king size bars, you got mm -hmm. the regular size, then you got the fun size. These are like these little bite size, fun size bars. Oh Woo! yeah. Baby. Little bite size Kit Kat action. This thing is barking the whole way up here. He's trying so hard to get out of my hands, but it's not working. Let's see what we got. First little bait fish, oh my god. Oh man. That, that's gonna be deadly. That cooler's gonna be slammed by the time oh, we're done. yeah. Little tiny guy, don't eat it. No. Yes. Yes. Oh! -ho. Another little bass candy. Gosh, man. That is, I'm telling you. <laughs> that's I'm gonna be inhaled. You. That's gonna be inhaled. Oh! Do you have one? I had one in the hole. Really? Yeah. There we go. You got him? Yeah, you got him in the hole? Yeah, seems like a better one too. Yeah. Oh yeah, now we that talking. That is what we're talking about right now. Now we talking. That is perfect size <laughs> for a giant, man. That's like a nice. Oh, that is perfect. Was he on the bottom? What do you think? Like a nice, oh, oh, don't want to lose him. That's like a nice, like probably like six, seven inch right there. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good, that's a perfect. <laughs> that's a good one. Was he on the bottom? Yeah, uh, he was closer towards the bottom. Got one? A really nice one. Is it a, a bass? That's a bass. That ain't no bluegill. Bro. Oh! oh is it a catfish? I don't know. What it's it a is. catfish, bro. Oh, it is a catfish. <laughs> oh my god, on that tiny piece of worm. <laughs> oh no. Oh, he came off. He probably bent the hook out. Yeah, he did. Oh, oh my god. That was a tiny He little... did bend it out, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yes. That's perfect size. Yes. Get back, get back in the lucky hole now. <laughs> they are loaded down there. That is a freaking good one too. That is a really good bait fish size. And I have used the same little tiny piece of worm this whole time. We just had the luck with it. That is a good one right there. Now we get now we getting the good bait. Alright, let's grab us another worm. Nice little piece right there. Oh yeah. I got a good little piece on too. I think they're gonna munch it. Oh, oh no! Lucky hole. Not all holes are made equal. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> Alrighty, so we got about eight bluegill now total. I think we're pretty good. 
for the day. I think we're gonna be fine with about eight. We got a few big ones in there. We also got a few fun sized little Snickers bars in there as well. So it's gonna be good. Let me show you guys. This is the final little go around. We got eight total in there. I think it's gonna be good. Look at that, Fletcher. We got a bunch? Yeah, we got a good little bit. Ooh. Oh, look at that one. That's, <laughs> oh, that's double digit bait right there. That's oh. big girl. All day. Now it's time man. to go catch the big bass. You I'm ready? Excited. Let's do it, bro. Let's get it. Yes, sir. All right. So we just made it out to the lake that we're gonna be fishing in today. As you guys know, we got the John boat. We're gonna be going out on it. Me and Fletcher actually filmed a jig and big creature bait video a couple of episodes ago, and the fish were just loaded on this offshore structure. The brush piles are freaking phenomenal. Big pipes in the water, and these fish are just loaded. So we're actually gonna be putting it in here and testing out the theory if they're gonna eat the live bait because they we already know that they're gonna eat the bottom baits. Oh yeah. Like we killed them the other day, like no, really good. Destroyed them. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're kind of like, let's see if they're going to eat live bait. So we're going to try it out. We're going to go out there. It's going to be a blast, man. I'm excited. Let's go ahead and dump the boat in the water and get started. That. All right. There she goes. Whoa, boy. All right, guys, we're about to get it started. Fletcher actually already got his poles out there. He put a smaller, smaller bluegill on there, and then he has his little electronic lure out there. So as you guys can tell, big bobber, circle hook. Let's go ahead and pick our poison on what live bait we want. I think we're gonna go with a good medium. Nothing too small, but nothing too big to start off with. I'm thinking that guy right there. That's a nice medium one. I think that's perfect. Medium is the way to go. So there's a way to hook these. I can't remember exactly to where you're not going to puncture them to where they're not going to get injured. So therefore they're going to move more. Do you know exactly where that's at? I hook them up top. You so like right in front of the dorsal fin. Oh, don't, don't drop them. Boy. <laughs> oh, he's, he's flopping over here at my feet. Let me see if I can't get him. Oh, come here. Got him. There you go. Yeah, I'm gonna go through. Yeah, right in front of that right, top door. Not, not right here, but right, right in front of right it. There. Yeah. Break that through. Boom. Perfect. I think we're solid right there. I think that is the go. Good medium size. Toss him right there. All right. So this is the spot that a lot of look at. Look at his action, bro. <laughs> look at that. Oh my Man, God. that's a feisty okay. one. We're gonna make sure our drag set once I cast out there. This is the spot where we found a lot of fish stacked up on, so I'm excited about it. We're gonna go ahead and give her a good swing. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. A little to the right, a little, oh my God, look at him. Oh my, Dude. that's a lively one. That's exactly what you want. That is exactly, look at him going. We, me and Fletcher were talking about our only problem today is gonna be making sure our poles don't get tangled up. I'm gonna get this drag set up. I think we're gonna we're gonna hook a big one today. I'm excited about it. Now we just gotta stay put. It's a waiting game now, and uh, see what our bluegill does. If we start to see him kind of move around a good bit, or if he's staying still, I'm probably gonna reel him back in and cast him out. You want to see that movement to where you can almost tell he's intimidated of some of the bass that he's around. But he's got a good bit of movement out there. I think if this doesn't work, I'm gonna go reposition the cast over more on this left hand side. But now it's just a waiting game. Let's see if we can get a bite. Is that you? Oh, I think I... You... Oh! Did you have one? I think I had one. You had I, one. I had one. Oh, my God. No! You freaking oh had one. Oh, my gosh. He was just sitting there munching on it, man. No! He took our bass candy. Mmm. You had one, dude. I know. Oh. Dang. Let's see if he eats this one. He's got a little... So I'll try it. Seems like a good spot. 
Uh oh, uh oh. I just got you one. Got I got one. Oh boy. I got him. Oh, I got him. <laughs> oh yeah. Again. Yes. Dude, we just came to our second spot. Punched right away. This fish is fighting hard too. I don't know how big he is, but he is tugging. Oh yeah, guys. This is what we came here for today. Oh! Woo! Yo, what's going on? Oh, oh my gosh. Yo, that's a big one. That's a fatty. That's like a four pounder. Oh, he's barely hooked. He's barely hooked. Bluegill's gone. No, don't spit it. Oh yeah! <laughs> Look at that, boy. Yes, that is Give what me we some. We're wanting to come for today. Look at that, right in the corner of his mouth of that circle hook. And that bluegill is gone. Holy cow, that is a good sign. Yeah, it's not in his mouth. Look at that. Little circle hook. We can cut a weight on this fish. I don't I don't know if he's quite four. He's a solid three number though. Um, do you have that scale? Uh, we right. left it in we yeah. left it. I, I think we're safe to say that he's a he's a mid three or a high three. That's a good fish right there. Beautiful bass right there. First one on the bluegill today. We didn't have That's any luck awesome. at that first spot. And then we came to our second. It was like instant. Gosh, that bluegill didn't have much life in him yet. And then I saw that bobber go down. I was like, that, yeah. That bluegill didn't even have enough in him to do that. That is a beautiful fish. First live bait bass today. Let's try to catch another one. Oh, man. That was a lot of fun. Give me some flesh. <laughs> yes, sir. And I wasn't even recording. That's uh, even better. You guys just missed out on a lot of crazy events. Fletcher lost one on his bluegill. I got hung up on the bottom and then his electronic lure got wrapped around something. So yeah, that's about what happened in the last 45 seconds. All right guys, while we're waiting on a live bait deal, kind of wanted to pick up my, um, my bass rod. It's got a big flipping rig on here. Kind of wanted to try it out. See if I can get a fish on here. Plus you're still live bait fishing. It's so hard for me to freaking do that anymore. I bass fish so much, power fish, and it's hard for me to sit down and wait on a fish to bite. Oh, no one. What? No, I think we got one. You got one? He's, he's, he's got it. Or is he just chasing it? I'm letting him taking it. I'm letting him taking it. Do I need to get the camera? Do you actually got oh, one? You, you got him? We're good. Actually? There we go. Oh, that's there a decent little go. one. He didn't want to do much, did he? That's a nice little fish. That's it's a two pounder. Where's that camera at? Dunk right there. He popped off my bluegill, just ripped right through the top of his back. Not a bad one. And he's hooked in there good, right where he's supposed to with that circle hook. A solid, I don't know, he's probably Pound two. Pound and a half, two pound? Yeah, two pounder. Solid, uh, solid one to eat that little bluegill right there. Man, these fish, even when they're smaller, they will eat those big baits. Like, especially like a live bluegill, when it's just sitting there fluttering out there, like, and it's all distressed and all that, these little fish will come up and munch it, just like you see right there. Dude, definitely was ambitious with the size of the bait that was on there, but thank you for buying there, bud. You, uh, you definitely munched good. All right, little bud. There it goes. <laughs> yes, good sir. job. Let's go. Now we're one for one. Yes, sir. Let's do it. Some bass under these. If he stays still, I'm gonna cast in front of the boat right here. I would just love to throw it in there and just watch one eat it like a top water just right away. <laughs> just slam it. Can we just drift this tree line and you just keep, keep pulling them off? You stop. <gasps> he got it. He got it. He got it. Oh you got it. No. No. <laughs> Dude, that was the craziest bite I've ever seen. Oh my god. No. You dragged him over that limb. All right, that's got my confidence high now, though. Oh, guys, it was getting painful. There was like no wind, super hot. Now the wind's picking up a tad bit. Just had a fish try to eat that bluegill like a top water. That was insane. Oh my gosh, we got some more. We're gonna try that again. That might be the key, Fletcher. Yes, By sir. these trees today. Oh, dude, that was dope. There you go. Oh man, dude. That was crazy. Why didn't he stay pinned? I tried to let him eat it for a second. That was insane, bro. That was one of the coolest little bites I've had in such a long time. 
he was like starting to get hung on a branch so i started to reel him in and that bass said nope i'm gonna destroy this thing there you go or you just want to call it you think i'll be fine with what i got oh uh, i mean yeah you definitely could call it on that i think you'll have plenty enough for a video yeah that's the only thing as long as i got enough for a vid <gasps> No freaking way! <laughs> oh, baby! That was sick. Dude, that was so good. The bluegill's still in his mouth, too. Oh, he's got it choked. All right. That was so cool, man. Look at that. And look exactly how they eat these bluegill. Oh, look at that tail. Hanging out of his mouth. Head first. Dude, he's got him head first. Already in his crushers. Oh my God. We should probably just let that bass eat it, shouldn't we? Yeah, just, just give it to him. him. It. Holy cow. Now look at that bluegill in that bass's crushers right there. That is exactly how you want it. We are just talking. We are like, man, it's already late. I was trying to get this video up today. And, and we are like, man, I guess we're just going to have to call it. All of a sudden, you just... Dook, 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 poosh, and then you got a beautiful bass right there. About a two and a half pounder choke that bluegill we're just gonna let him have that he's gonna be able to digest that when it's really small don't you think He'll yeah no damn he should fine. be good but that is awesome right there we got some top water action <laughs> right there bluegill hanging out of his mouth you got you a free meal bud a little souvenir <laughs> oh yeah look at that bluegill <laughs> yes, that was sir. freaking legit bro legit we just waited and all of a sudden he just came up behind it just slammed that that's some of the most fun you'll ever have right there, especially witnessing, witnessing the bass come up and eat them like that. Man, hit the like button on that one, that was fun.